a bad way to lose, but I imagine at 3 1 down, you'd have settled for taking it to a shootout. Uh, yeah, I suppose so, but we, we responded really well. We've, our season finally started today. We, we had a couple of Crawley and Burton first half, we were decent, but apart from that, we've been. I thought we'd played some decent stuff. The goals we'd let in poor our part. The first one was really poor. The second one, the way we conceded it, really poor. The third one, again, unacceptable. You know, and we've got to defend better. We, we kept 20 clean sheets last year through hard work and, and doing it as a team, and we, we're not doing that at the minute. Not doing it enough. I thought we showed, I thought we showed signs that we, you know, because the, the boys are pretty low, um, but they, I thought they sort of played some really good football at times. I thought there were some real loads of positives, and, and finally our season might have started. You know, we've got there's a bit about them in the dressing room. They're they're all disappointed, but they know they've done. They know they've done all right, and they know that on another night we could easily win again. And there was the fighting spirit to get themselves back in it yeah, again we, as well. Yeah, How pleasing is that? Yeah, but we shouldn't we shouldn't have put ourselves in that in the first place. You know, we get a goal ahead again. We, we had a, it was a, I thought sounded a great opportunity to either put Zach in or in the first half or, or, or score himself and, and he spits it over the bar from the goal kick they have two touches like the balls in the back of our net and uh, you know we've, we, we've got to address that we've got to you know we can't keep shooting ourselves in the foot and playing okay um, and conceding goals but we responded in the right manner um, I thought Zach was a constant threat got tired in the last 15 minutes um, David Noble come on and you know showed us what he can do and he'll be a, he'll be a big part of us trying to get back to doing what, we, what we're quite good at. Those were two positives. Stephen Gillespie back on the score sheet as well for Cheltenham. That's a positive as well. Yeah, there was, there's plenty of positives. I'm, I'm, I'm all right tonight. I'm, I, I see a bit of light. And, um, you know, the, I think the players do as well. I think they realise we've let ourselves down as a group over the last, well, over the start that we've had. Um, I'm disappointed that we haven't won tonight and gone, gone through. It would have been what we wanted. Um, but we can now build on, on that for, for Saturday. And when David Noble came on and started passing, some of the other players in the team seemed to start passing on well, as well. Was, that's what I put him here for, to be fair. You know, I could have got, like I said, I could yesterday, I could have got a big six foot stopper of a centre back or a, a stopper of a midfield, defensive midfield player. But I wanted someone who could, who was going to get on the ball and make some of the other players that, that, are, that are just not quite having it off at the minute, you know, not quite making it happen for themselves. I wanted him to try and do that, and you know, I thought Sammy came to it a little bit second half and more. Um, Zach, um, Jermaine, come on and put in three or four wonderful crosses that we, you know, should have scored from really. Um, the one he whipped in, he's put three great balls across the six-yard box. Byron's made a good connection with the one keeper's just got a rock on, got lucky with it, or made the right save. We, we did, we did things a lot better. You know, my pack four. Although we conceded goals, we were a lot more competitive, a lot more aggressive and, and on the whole I think we dealt with them alright but you know I can't keep saying that and conceding three goals. So positives but you know again we've we've not set out to do what we what we want. I know there are the overall results disappointing to go out on penalties, but an encouraging night for Cheltenham, plenty of good things and two goals for you. Yeah definitely we've got to take the positives out of it. Um, you know second half we were we were probably at three one down thinking here we go again really, you know, conceded three goals and you know, we weren't playing great but you know, fortunately we got the penalty and then we started you know, we started believing ourselves a bit more and passing the ball about and and that that's why I came here because I knew this side could do that, you know, create chances and you see you seen at the end we put, we should have won it in, in in only time, you know. You know, it is you know, I know this competition's designed to you know, go to penalties and all that stuff but if it had gone to extra time, there was only one winner really. You know, we should have done it in 90, but you know, we'd have definitely won in, in extra time. But as I say, we we've got to take the positives out of the game. We're disappointed to concede three goals, and you know, I'm sure the defenders will, will not be thinking as positively really as, as the forward players. But you know, at times we we played a lot better. New to the club, and I suppose good to get 45 minutes under your belt straight away. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I was delighted to get some first team action in and. 45 minutes there tonight. It was it was good to play, but obviously the result in the end weren't weren't what we were looking for. But obviously I enjoyed playing the 45 minutes. 
and to actually turn it around from 3-1 down at half time to to get it back to 3 all and take it to penalties was still some achievement yeah you know the boys have showed great character obviously we haven't started the season as they'd like but people can fold under that sort of pressure you know but as you see tonight 3-1 down come back to 3 all and and in my opinion we should have went on to win the game and that shows great character from the boys you've been brought in to get Cheltenham ticking and get them playing football for the players around you just sort of how how did you find linking up with them because you seem to get your foot on the ball and then others seem more confident as well yeah well I really enjoy playing tonight you know I think the boys got on the ball and played and 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 that takes a lot of confidence you know and when things ain't going too well that's not an easy thing to do so you know I think the future looks bright for me and hopefully we can get this turned around you've come here on a half season loan until January so I suppose there is time for you to sort of settle down and actually try and achieve something here isn't there yeah yeah of course I mean it's not just a, a month loan it's what is it three months is it till January and so I'm, lo- I'm looking to, to do good things here. What was it about Cheltenham that attracted you to the club? Um, well, obviously, to get out and play games, you know. I mean, the manager told me I was going to come down here and play and, and he wants me to, as you said, get on the ball and, and start making things happen. And, you know, just, just to hear that from a manager straight away when you're out in the wilderness in another club and, and you don't hear nothing from, from the manager for a while, it's... Um, it's good to hear and it gives you, you know, you, I was chomping at a bit to get on tonight, so. Jason Taylor obviously came to Cheltenham from Rotherham. Did yeah. you speak to him as well? Yeah, well, not before I'd done it, you know, it was literally, do you want to go to Cheltenham? Yes, that was it, done. And after it was done, I spoke to Jason and uh, said I'd be down. So we had a little chat on the phone, but just looking forward to my time, to be honest.